So Spy Classroom is a new show this winter 23 anime season that I heard some buzz about. I didn't know too much other than what the synopsis laid out, but I wasn't really sure what was the hook past that because honestly, the general synopsis just kind of made it seem like a spy story and spy stories are cool, don't get me wrong, but what's the thing that I was that was getting people excited? And honestly, Maybe it's different for everyone, but for me, the reason I can highly recommend episode one of Spy Classroom is simply because of the main character, Claus. This dude is the entire reason I could watch 50 episodes of this show. I love characters like him who are so intelligent, who are so perfectly calculated, but they do have their own little handicaps and weaknesses like not being able to use common sense like, hey... Here's an impossible thing to do, just do it. That's his teaching method. He is absolutely the worst teacher in some ways. But the whole concept of how you have these impossible missions, right? They literally say, like, the top class spies in the world, you have a 90% chance of dying if you, if you send the best people to do these impossible missions. And then here's this dude who's considered to be the world's greatest, right? The best one in the world to do these types of missions. He then picks a bunch of girls who apparently all were not doing well at their original schooling, saying, I'm going to train you in a month's time so we can go do this impossible mission. And his entire teaching method is to just say, just use the tool correctly. That's how you open up a lock in a way that I magically do some hand movements. And honestly, just the first half of this episode pretty good, decent enough. There were some solid establishing shots of some pretty brutal warfare, but it was simple, it was goofy, and it had a bit of a charm to it. But once Claws really started going, this episode just kicked into high gear and really has me excited for the future of this one. Now, I do have a full live reaction to Spy Class from Episode 1 on the Patreon, so if you want to see that, do consider supporting if you so wish. But this episode... I'm impressed. I am. Is this my favorite show I've watched so far this season? No, but is it one that has my interest? Oh, absolutely. There's something about the dynamic, and there's two characters so far that have grabbed my interest. That being Claus, obviously, because he's just a badass, but also this character who apparently is going to be the team leader. He'll be obviously the boss, but Lily will be the team leader. And the whole concept of how he's going to teach them to be the best is he's going to challenge them in order to make them try to defeat him. Because by the end of this episode, we see her essentially poison our boy. And the fact that they actually let him get poisoned, I thought was nice, because usually characters like these, they just say, you thought you had this plan, I outplayed you, haha, -ha, nothing worked on me. Instead, he, you know, he got poisoned, sure, but at the same time... He knew exactly what was probably going to happen before it did, so he made sure there was some ankle cuffs that he could basically force her to not be able to do the finishing blow. And just to see, like, the whole concept of how the training missions are going to go for these spy killers, I mean, it makes a lot of sense, right? If you're going to be going on impossible missions, is really sitting around a table opening up locks the way to go about it. No, you got to be put into those situations that are going to get the adrenaline moving, the blood pumping, and I think they're going to have a really fun time because here's the thing. Did we get a good idea of who every character was in this episode? No, but there's like eight, nine characters that we're going to be following at any given moment, right? So we're not going to be able to show them all within a decent amount of time to get them fleshed out. So instead, they give you a general idea of their personalities. They're fun, we've seen these personalities before. But when it comes to both Claus as well as Lily, we got to see them as actually people. And honestly, I was impressed by both of their characters. And I think if the formula we're gonna see with this show is giving each of these girls their moments, their episodes, their arcs to shine, to really open up their personalities beyond that just 2D, not very dimensional kind of archetype, then we're going to have a very fleshed out cast of characters that are going to make us laugh. Yes, there's clearly going to be fan service. They showed us two bath scenes. I mean, the anime knows what it's doing marketing wise. But ultimately, the thing that makes me excited is characters like Claus, they don't come around often, but when they do, they generally impress. But I think the idea of having a genius like him who just says, like, it's instinct, it's second nature. He doesn't think about how he uses a tool to open seven locks by doing a hand movement. He just says, use the tool correctly, because for him, that's how it is. But he also clearly does have the ability to explain things, as in the case of how he was explaining how they import different foods, now that canning technology is a lot better. So I'm interested to see him, because he lacks common sense in the way that normal people have, in terms of just knowing you can't tell someone hey, if we're teaching someone how to open up a lock, you don't just say use the tool correctly. You have to show them what you have to feel, like how do you move the prongs around, right? So the fact that he lacks that common sense but is a genius elsewhere, I mean, the dude literally, without even flinching, I don't even think he realized he did it until it happened. A dude was trying to steal a purse, he just naturally did it and handed it back to the old woman. Characters like those are very fun, 
And the fact that he's not invincible in the way that he's also immune to poison. No, our girl clearly was because of her backstory, which was tragic. But for him, he can get hurt by poison, but he also can plan ahead to prevent you. So, in a very humorous fashion, hey, I don't have the antidote, so I can't cure you. Well, I don't have the key because I figured I could just open the lock. Oh shit, the boat's sinking. Well, you'll be up in ten minutes. Well, the boat's gonna sink in five, so you better paddle for your life. There's a lot of humor there that makes it fun, and I think stories like these, sometimes they take themselves a little too seriously, and I think even some of my favorite shows that are just pure depression at points, like shows like Attack on Titan, they still have characters be a little goofy at times, right? And I think that's what a show like this knows what it's doing, right? It's saying, hey, we're gonna show you, like, this great war that killed so many, it's brutal. We can see that visually, but we're also gonna let you get connected to the characters in a more comfy and fun way, and then when brutal stuff happens, I mean, whether they're going to go completely, we're going to kill these characters off over time, or we're just going to build them into the ultimate team, I don't know just yet, because we only watched one episode, and anime can go in two very different directions in these types of formulas. Either it's going to be Death Flags galore, or it's going to be, holy shit, they are so badass, we're worried, but they all make it out by the end. But I'm interested, man. I have to say, like, did this one live up to the hype? I mean, it's hard to really explain what I saw as hype, because I did see a lot of excitement from source readers, but not to the same degree that I was seeing people say this is going to be anime of the season. So, for me, it actually surpassed the hype, because I wasn't seeing a lot of buzz, but there was enough to pique my interest. So, I'm excited. I think what could have ruined this episode, or at the very least made it a little less easy to recommend, is if they only made Claus an entertaining character. But I have to admit, Lily and her her desire to just survive but be in a better place, I respected the hustle. Did it work out completely? No, but in return it actually ended up teaching this man how to teach the others by making them more or less try to attack him. And I thought that was really great. I mean, in general, from what we've seen off of these characters, we've seen similar character personalities before, but based on what I saw over this episode, I mean... The world has me interested. I think spy stories don't happen a lot in anime, they happen a lot in every other medium, but anime kinda doesn't have spies all that much, but when we do, I do find that they're at the very least watchable, but the thing that I'll give Spy Classroom is that it has me excited for episode 2. It's not simply like I'm intrigued to watch episode 2, like I really enjoyed the dynamic by the end of this episode, and while the first half of it wasn't anything crazy anime of the season quality, they knew how to establish, they had some good establishing shots, it was fun, it was goofy, and Claus is like one of my favorite type of character personalities, and the fact that he's the man leading this operation, it's going to be comedy gold, badass gold, and honestly, spy gold from what I can see, so yeah, I'm excited for more, but I'll pass the torch over to you, what did you think of Spy Classroom Episode 1, and are you going to keep on watching this one like myself, do let me know down below, leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new around here, like I mentioned, I do have a full live reaction available on the Patreon, so you can see that in future episodes. You can get video shoutouts, a bunch of other fun perks as well. So do consider if you so wish. So until next time, everyone, please take care and have a good one.